Hi guys, it's Stephanie. I'm going to read Psalm 46 through 50. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth is be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolation in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. O oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a voice of triumph, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us, the nations under our feet. He will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. Selah. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together. The people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her places. He is known as her refuge. For behold, the kings assembled. They passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled, they hastened away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain, as of a woman in birth pangs, as when you break the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought, O God, on, our, on your loving kindness. In the midst of your temple, according to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Mark well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that you may tell it to the generations following. For this is God, our God, forever and ever. He will be our guide, even to death. Hear this, all peoples. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will disclose my dark saying, on the harp. Why should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity at my heels surrounds me? Those who trust in your wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him, for the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease forever. That he should continue to live eternally, 
and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thoughts is that their houses will last forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, though in honor, does not remain. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish and of their prosperity who approve their sayings. Selah. Like sheep they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Selah. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him, though while he lives he blesses himself. For men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. A man who is in honor, yet does not understand, is like the beasts that perish. The Mighty One, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth, from the rising of the sun to the going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour, devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offer offerings, which you are continually which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on the, a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine in all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to declare my statutes, or take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction, and cast my words behind you? When you saw a thief, you cons consented with him, and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in, to, in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. <clears throat>